yourself. For the ultimate betrayal. The final battle. Two monsters fighting! Bro! Do you dare me to put this entire plastic T-Rex in my mouth? Huh? Whoa! Whoa. Bro! Are you alright? Looks like you took quite a tumble there. Red Dog? What's wrong, boy? Did someone put cat food in the kibble dish? <gasps> you said you saw a giant siren head outside? That's impossible. We already defeated Siren Head in episode 14. Yeah, we did defeat Siren Head. <gasps> Rad Dog, how could you lie to me like this? Didn't you ever hear the story of the boy who cried wolf? Yeah, except for in this story, it's more like the wolf who cried boy. And by boy, I mean Siren Head. And by wolf, he means Rad Dog. How could you cry boy, Rad Dog? <laughs> oh, I can't believe that man's best friend would lie to us like this. I think you need to go straight to your kennel, Rad Dog. <gasps> I said what I said. But Brody. Rad Dog's a very social and sensitive animal. Don't you think that's a little harsh, putting him in solitary confinement? No, bro. I actually don't think I was harsh enough. <gasps> yeah, bro. Lying is one of the seven deadly sins. So technically, he could get the death penalty. The death penalty? Uh, you're being way too harsh, bro. I think I'm on Rad Dog's side on this. Oh, bro. You chose man's best friend over a man who is your best friend? That man isn't my best friend anymore. Hmm. Oh, you don't mean that, bro. As a matter of fact, I do mean it. I'll prove it to you. Rad Dog, kiss me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Why'd I just do that? You really did mean it, bro. Well, this is awkward. I'll give you two some alone time. A long time? No, no, it's not like that, bro. I, I, I don't even know why I did that. <laughs> Red dog, no! No! Huh? What's that sound? <gasps> oh, why do my friends keep on kissing? It's really <laughs> Bro! What? Red dog wasn't lying! Siren Head is here! Bro, how do I even know that's true? Are you just saying that because you and Rad Dog kissed and now you're biased? Bro, no, no, I saw it with my two eyes, you have to believe me! So are you saying to me right now, if I went over to that window over there and looked out of it, that I would see Siren Head? Uh, yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying, bro. Okay, well let's go and have a look-see, shall we? Bro, why are you talking like that? I'm being for real! Yeah. Real. Just like the siren head who's standing outside this window right now. Ah! Ah! See, I told you! I can't believe you were right. We need to make a plan. Okay, bro. I have a plan. 
Don't you remember how we defeated Siren Head the last time? Three! Oh yeah! It's so obvious! Let's use your exploding hat to defeat Siren Head! Tally ho! All right, Siren Head, eat hat. Oh no, it didn't work. And what's even worse is I have hat hair. <laughs> hey bro, did it work? Ugh, you have hat hair. No, it didn't work and I have hat hair. Ugh, what are we gonna do? <laughs> Oh, Rad Dog, what do you got there, boy? Oh, you filthy dog, you took my hat. I mean, thanks for getting my hat, Rad Dog. And what's this? A comprehensive plan for defeating Siren Head? And it's in alphabetical order? Oh, I could just kiss you, Rad Dog. No, 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 it's just a figure of speech. I would never kiss Rad Dog. Everybody knows he's a bad kisser. Well, actually, he's gotten better. Uh, but no more kissing until we've defeated Siren Head. Oh, what's that? A comprehensive plan of all the ways to defeat Siren Head in alphabetical order? <laughs> Who wrote this? I could just kiss them. Well, Rad Dog wrote it, but let's see what's inside. Okay, let's see, what do we have? Plans, plans, plans. Using giant creepy spiders to defeat Siren Head? Oh, no way, that never ends well. No, we can't use uh, giant Oh, what about this one? Nuclear warfare. Well, nuclear warfare would defeat Siren Head, but we did tell the government we'd stop using oh, nukes. Dang it, what about that one? Summon Choo Choo Charles? <laughs> Bro, I love this plan. We'll use an evil monster to defeat an evil monster. But bro, haven't you ever heard the phrase fighting fire with fire? It just makes more fire. Oh, dang it, you're right, bro. There's probably like a million ways that this could go wrong and only like one way that this could go right. Let's do it. Oh, well when you put it like that, this is the perfect plan. Okay, bro, so according to Rad Dog's plan, we only need three items. One, a traveling size guitar. Two, a special song to summon the spirit of Choo Choo Charles. And three, an egg. <gasps> an egg? We can't use this, bro. Why not, bro? Don't you know how expensive these are right now? Bro, we're gonna need to make some sacrifices. Well, this plan is like the least cost effective in this book. It's too late, bro. We already picked the plan. Choo Choo Charles, what are you doing? Ah! Choo Choo Charles, get in this egg now. Choo Choo Charles, I'm summoning in you to me. Bro, I think you messed up the song. No, bro, that's how the song's written. <gasps> oh no, look what's happening to the egg. Oh, bro, it's starting to get really warm. Ow, ow, it's hot. We need to get this egg outside before it turns into Choo Choo Charles. <laughs> Oh gosh, it burns, it burns! Yeah! Wow, that is equally amazing as it is terrifying. What do we do now? Bro, I think we only have two options. Run, or grab some popcorn and watch. Well, obviously popcorn and watch. <laughs> Poor decision making! Whoa, this is awesome. Two monsters fighting. Oh, oh, he got him good. Yeah, this is awesome. You know what makes it even better? That they're gigantic. And you know what makes it even better, better? That we have popcorn. Give me some of that popcorn. <laughs> yup, that's good. <laughs> Whoa, it looks like the monsters are heading for the park. Let's go. Don't forget your popcorn. <laughs> Come on, bro, you're gonna miss it. Choo Choo's really going after Siren Head. Okay. Oh, oh, he got him good. Go, Choo Choo, go, Choo Choo, Choo Choo, Choo Cha. Oh no, Siren Head got Choo Choo. Oh, this is just like the movies, except you don't have to pay for it and you get popcorn. And you could get seriously injured. Oh no! Bro, what if Siren Head wins? Then we're stuck with Siren Head forever! Forever? No! Oh. 
Oh! Oh, yes! Choo Choo Charles defeated Siren Head! Yay, we got rid of our Siren Head problem! Yeah, I know, it's awesome, bro! Wait a second! How are we gonna get rid of Choo Choo Charles? Ah! Ah! Wow, that was a crazy- bro, What are you doing? Shh! Choo Charles is right outside! We have to hide! Get down! But, uh, what'd you learn today, bro? Well, I learned that you shouldn't try and fight fire with fire because it just leads to more fire. Yeah, yeah, and I learned that with the price of eggs being so high, you shouldn't use them to summon Choo Choo Charles because then you just end up with Choo Choo Charles outside and no eggs. That's a good lesson to learn. Wait, shh, I think I hear Choo Choo Charles. <laughs> <laughs> Gee willikers, that is a giant egg. I wonder what's inside it. Probably something really friendly. It's cracking. Whoa, maybe it's a sparrow. Or maybe it's a gigantic panda. That'd be cool, I've always wanted a panda. Whoa! It's hideous. I think he's adorable. I just, I don't trust it. Every time there's a giant egg and something hatches, it just isn't good. Whoa, I feel like we're like really connected. Can we keep him? I guess everybody deserves a chance. Even giant creepy aliens that fall from the sky and hatch in giant eggs from outer space. Uh-huh. Yeah! His hugs are better than yours, Dad. Come inside and play! Zoe, I said no rollerblading or skateboarding in the house. It scratches the floor. But Alien says it's okay. Well, Alien isn't your dad. I'm in charge here. I wish he were my dad. <sighs> it hurts. It chills my heart. Let's go, Alien. Room up! We're not making a gigantic mess! We're not making a mess, Dad. This is art, and Alien likes it. Alien Schmalian, what does he know about art? Good job! What is going on in here? What, Dad? You're disappointed in me again? Mm. I said that you can have one piece of Halloween candy every day. And look, you're eating all of it? Alien Dad says it's okay. Stop calling him Alien Dad. It really makes me upset. Cry about it. Sometimes I mask my sadness with anger. It's really unhealthy. Come on, Dad, let's watch the new season of Stranger Things. Yes, I've been waiting for so long. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I can't wait. 
I'm ready. Should I get some popcorn? What are you doing here? You said, Dad, we're going to watch the new season of Stranger Things. I meant Alien Dad. Well, looks like there's a little extra room for me to join. Sorry, Dad. There's just no room for you. There never was. Oh, okay. Well, maybe we can watch the next season of Stranger Things in two or three years. Where did my daughter go? You know I love you so. Be quiet! Oh. We're trying to watch a movie. I don't know what's more broken. My head or my heart. Wow, you're full of great ideas. <laughs> Zoe, what are you doing? Halloween's over. I told you to put these away. Alien Dad says that Halloween never ends. Don't you know anything about psychology? The fact that Halloween is one day a year makes it special. It's, it's scarce, and if you take that away, it's like, not important anymore. Dad, you overthink everything. Like if every day is Halloween, then there is no Halloween. There's just another day with pumpkins and spiders and gremlins, but if pumpkins and spiders and gremlins are the norm, then we should have a normal day, a not Halloween day, where we just do everything normally. We get rid of all the pumpkins and we just... Boring. Let's go. All you inflatables are supposed to be in a box next to the Easter decorations. I knew it! He's trying to abduct you! I'll save you, Zoe! Boring, Dad! What are you doing? Hopefully I land on those soft, inflatable pumpkins over there! Are you okay? Uh, yeah, I think I'll be okay. That must have hurt your knuckles. Let's go bandage your knuckles. Zoe, what about me? I'm hurt too. <sighs> Something's not right with this alien. I'm gonna spy on him and see what he does in his free time. Dig up a little dirt, if you know what I mean. What's he doing with the owl that lives in our oak tree? Oh, I better check this out. Oh, I guess he's just playing with them. That's okay. Oh, I can't look. Who eats owl? They're all tough and gamey. They're not soft and juicy and tender like poultry should be. Little owl. He's lived there for at least a hundred years. What a monster. That alien's a monster, I told you. I better keep an eye on him. What is he doing now? I don't know. Wait, he's a thief. He's taking our stuff. Bringing in spider gremlins to 
torment and torture us. I gotta tell Zoe. This is the last straw. Zoe! Zoe! Look! Look! I caught him! I caught him! He's bad! I'll prove it to you! He's doing nothing wrong. Uh, Zoe! No, he's a monster! First, he ate the owl who lives in the oak tree yonder. I saw him do it. It was disgusting. You mean Abacus? What? What's he doing alive? I, I saw him. He had a fork and a knife. Wait, or a knife and a fork. And he was like, I am an alien. I eat owls bad. Rah. No, Abacus was sick and he was performing an emergency surgery. Be free. No, Abacus, that's a window you can't fly through! Oh. Well, he's a thief! A thief, I tell you! I caught him on my camera, he was stealing our electronics! Look, they're all right there! No, Dad, he's building an intergalactic communication device so he can phone home! Duh! Oh yeah, he's building an inter whoosie what's it galactic interplanetary something with Google so he can phone home. I knew that! Well, he brought a spider gremlin into his house, and spider gremlins, like, they eat your fingers at night. Oh, like tasty little treats. I hate spider gremlins. Wait, are you talking about Aiden? He's so nice. He's as sweet as apple pie. Don't talk to him like that. Well, looks like I misjudged him. I'm, I'm sorry. It's okay, Dad. We all make mistakes. Yeah, I guess we do, and I've learned that. Sometimes it's through our mistakes that we learn what's wrong, so we learn what's right. And when we learn what's right, we can strive for a potential, strive up to the stars and make the world a better place. Uh-huh. But I just want to let you know it, it really hurts when you call him dad. I'm your dad. Oh, I only call him dad because he is a dad. Look. <laughs> Cute. Maybe we can all get along and be one big happy family. Family, yeah, you, family, huh. one happy family. Oh. Oh, do you guys hear that? Listen. I hear it, listen, listen. Shh, it's getting closer. This is the mothership. We're coming to pick you up. I think you're just making noises with your mouth, Dad. Shh, shh, shh. No. Mothership is it's, it's a real spaceship. It's the mothership. Come on, we gotta go. Whoa, the house is shaking. Ah, ah, oh, I think you gotta go. I don't feel no. anything. Random mothership. This is the mothership. Come on, quick, quick! Yeah, we gotta go. Look, they're coming for you. Uh huh. Yeah, this way. Uh huh. No, no, that way. Towards the door. Uh, yeah. Look, come on. The mothership's coming. Uh huh. Okay. We'll see you next time. Quick, quick. <sighs> I'm really gonna miss him. Well, let's go have dinner. Yeah. <sighs> oh boy, am I tired. <gasps> I'm gonna take a nap. Hopefully nothing bad happens while I'm sleeping. Bro, look out! Uh, no, five more minutes, Mom. Uh. Bro, no, there's a spider over there. Bro, no! I'll save you, bro. Whoopsies. I do. Stop, bro. You're not about to kiss a babe. You're about to kiss a giant creepy spider. Mind your own business, bro. Bro, I don't think you understand what you're doing. You're kissing a giant creepy spider. Huh? Bro, you just got bit by a giant creepy spider. Oh, bro, I can't get it off. What do we do? I don't know what to do. 
Wait, I has an idea. I'm gonna vacuum the spider up. Bite your forehead? Oh, I don't want to talk about it, bro. Bro, show me your forehead. We need to know if you need a doctor or something. No way, bro. You know I have a fear of doctors. For the 27th time, all she was trying to do was check your reflexes. Bro, I know for a fact she was using that hammer to shatter my kneecaps. Don't talk to me at a time like this. Hmm, wait a minute. Are you wearing nail polish, bro? No way, bro. I'm not wearing nail polish. Oh, yeah? Well, show me your hand and prove it. <laughs> okay. Ah! Bro, you need to look in your mirror right now. <gasps> oh, no. No, 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 no. <gasps> ah! Oh, no. What's wrong, bro? <gasps> Are you okay, bro? What, bro? Those spider bites look really bad, bro. I think we need to go to a doctor. No! I won't go back to Dr. McKittlebottoms! Never again! Bro, this is a matter of life and death. Bro, I know, cause she could kill me! Bro, she's only trying to help. Besides, those spider bites, those are gonna kill you. I actually feel fine, bro. I'm fine. I said I'm fine. Well, in any case, bro, we have to do something. I know. Let's get revenge on the spiders who did this to you. <gasps> oh boy, revenge. Revenge! <laughs> All right, bro, I've assembled everything we need to fight these spiders. First, eye protection. Second, gloves. Third, spider guns. Fourth, a net and whatever that is. And finally, giant insects. Wait, giant insects? <gasps> My favorite. <sighs> Bro, why are you eating that giant bug? You're gonna make me throw up. Cause it's delicious, bro. Yuck. Well, agree to disagree, bro. Let's go insect hunting. Uh, don't you mean spider hunting? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Okay, bro, let's do a preparation montage. It's the end of the web for these eight-legged freaks. Bro, aren't you super stoked to go kill some spiders? Yeah, I guess, bro. I mean, I'd say I'm more hungry than I'm excited. That's kind of a weird thing to say, bro. <gasps> a centipede! Oh boy! Let me catch him in my web. Huh? My web, see? <sighs> That's so disgusting. You're gonna make me throw up. Delish. Whatever, let's just keep going. <gasps> Bro, look, it's the spiders. Aren't they beautiful? Bro, we got him! Now it's time for revenge! Revenge, yeah! <gasps> Wait a second. I think I'm having second thoughts, bro. Second thoughts? What do you mean? Do you want to torture them? Give them a slow and painful death? Bro, no. Maybe spiders aren't as bad as we thought. Maybe they're our friends. What? Bro, ever since you got this spider bite, it's like everything's different with you. You're eating insects. You're talking about catching bugs in your web. It's like you're becoming one of them. So what if I am, bro? Spiders are a good thing. Did you know that they control insect populations that would otherwise devastate crops? Ugh. It's like you're not even my bro anymore. We used to kill spiders together. Now we have nothing. Ugh. <laughs> Well, if you're gonna be like that, then just leave! I already left, bro! Oh, whatever, bro! Ugh! 
I'm gonna move in with the spiders since they're my only real friends. But bro, today's my birthday. Aren't you gonna come celebrate my birthday? Birthdays are a man-made construct, bro, and that wouldn't be in line with my new spider lifestyle. <sighs> Nobody ever comes to my birthday parties. Humans are so dramatic, aren't they? <laughs> Loser! <laughs> Good one. I guess it's time to settle into my new home. <laughs> this is the worst birthday ever. My bro totally abandoned me. We used to hunt spiders together. Now he's gone and become a spider. What am I supposed to do? Wait a second. Maybe because he's become a spider, now I have to hunt him. Hey y'all, welcome back to the Spider Kitchen. I'm Spider Bro, and today we're having live insects. All you have to do is pop your web up on the tree, and now, It's an insect. I came back to hunt you. <gasps> bro, what are you doing? Trust me, bro. I didn't want to do it. But the second you aligned yourself with spider values, I had no choice. <gasps> <gasps> Leave our friend alone, Bowie! <laughs> Down, one to go. You can run, but you can't hide. Come out, come out wherever you are, Spider Boy. I see you. Oh no! Ha! Ah, a clue. It's his scent. He'll never find me here. I found you! Ha-ha! <gasps> Any last words, Spider Boy? Uh, yes! Actually, yes! I'm sorry that I missed your birthday! And I'm sorry that I let our political differences come between our friendship! Political differences? You turned into a spider, bro! I mean, like, I like to spin webs and eat insects, and you like to fire up the grill and, and put the shrimp on the barbie! What I'm saying is, that doesn't mean we can't be friends, bro! You know, bro, when you put it that way, you're right! Take my hand, bro! I'm so glad we're friends again, bro! High five! Oh, sorry, bro. Spider instincts. What'd you learn today, bro? Bro, I learned that just because you have different views than your friends doesn't mean you can't be friends. And I learned that when you get a spider bite, you better go to the doctor quick. <gasps> Doctors? Ah! Not a big deal, bro. Today we learned that sometimes we can misjudge people by coming to conclusions too fast about their character and make mistakes, but... It's okay if we say we're sorry and we learn and grow. Like and subscribe! What's that noise? Shh. Shh. See you next time!